And if I never make it, then at least I left to go try. 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 What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Luis Revelo Jr. back at you with another video. It's Tuesday morning, 5 a.m. here at the gym. I didn't get a chance to film that much last week because I went out of town for work. I was working out in Fresno and Joel couldn't go out with me. So I wasn't able to film content last week. However, we did have some videos lined up. So those are the ones that you're probably going to be seeing before this one is uploaded. Anyways, long story short, we're back at it. We're back in town. I have to leave again though in a couple days, but it's all good. We're going to film as much as we can while I'm here and then hopefully uh, we can get some footage out there so in the meantime right now we're gonna get this pool workout and get right into it ah. all right guys we're back in the gym starting off with some lap pull downs i'm switching it up i'm tired of doing pull-ups trying to keep up do some exercises that i enjoy doing i've been doing the exercises my coach has had me do for the last like three months so i'm just kind of switching a few of them out to like some that I enjoy doing and uh, yeah we're here we're getting it in trying to stay low-key because we don't know if the managers are gonna come walking around but anyways we're just trying to stay consistent stay committed and get the results because like I said before we don't want to be those people that go to the gym every single day and always look the same you want to be people that go to the gym get up get the result that they want and then continue to get the results that they want. All right, guys, doing barbell curls, easy bar curls, five sets. So the first two are going to be 25 reps each. Then it's going to be 20, 20, and then 15 and 10. So uh, I was talking to Joel right before this. Uh, I'm starting my fast today. So today's going to be the first day of a five-day fast. So I'm going to go until Saturday just to kind of detox, kind of just reset my system. Because last week, while I was out of town, I wasn't really able to work out. Because uh, there, for whatever reason, there are no 24-hour fitnesses in Fresno. And so I think I'm going to have to end up getting a Crunch Fitness membership just for the month or two that I'm going to be out there. Just so we can stick to the plan, stick to the diet, and stick to daily disciplines. Because I'll tell you what, when I don't stick to my morning program, the rest of my day is pretty messed. You know what I'm saying? So, this is like my anchor. This is how I stay focused, keep myself aligned, keep myself disciplined. And when I don't do it, I notice I tend to eat worse. I go to bed later. I watch things I probably shouldn't watch. And when I say watch things I probably shouldn't watch, I'm talking about like just dumb stuff like Netflix, stupid podcasts, you know, time wasting content. But I really, when I'm normally like on, in my zone, I, I don't listen to music, I don't watch anything that's not related to like business or motivation, like mindset and stuff like that. That's pretty much all I consume. Ah. Also, 
I know some people may be wondering, is it safe to work out when you're fasting? Yes, it is. The key is though, don't be doing no HIIT training. Don't be doing no super high intensity workouts. Just get in the gym, move around. You, know, lift, you can lift weights, just don't kill yourself lifting weights. People think that they're gonna feel weak when they fast, and you will after a certain amount of days, but even like the first week, you won't. Trust me, you won't. The hardest day is the first day, because that's the day that you have the most cravings, the day that you're like stressing out, and like you've never done this before, and it's hard for you, but after day one, day two, yeah, it's pretty easy. After around day three, you probably just, you forgot about it. You don't even think about eating anymore. At that point, it's pretty much just cruise control. I like to continue going to the gym because it helps keep me in that mindset. It reminds me of like why I'm doing it. it. Helps me stay disciplined. It just helps with the, my overall mindset and willpower, if you could say. You know. So remember, guys. You know, this is not to to brag or boast. I'm just trying to teach you guys and show you guys how I do it. In the future, you won't really see me talking about this again, unless you guys ask, have questions about it but I'm just letting you guys know in case any of you want to follow along or try it in the future at some point, you can always come back to this video. So, last set on these. And they talk negativity, I spit the truth so I know that you feeling me. My life shines right when I'm in the vicinity. God gave me strength so I know there's no quitting me. I thank the Lord and I pray for humility. I came to show what the gospel did for me. No one can match my God-given ability, yeah. I'm just a tool with the proper utilities. Pray for the enemies. Satan keeps sending me, I'm gonna prosper, cause I'm fundamentally, so supplementary, they need to make me a few documentaries, yeah. Alright guys, <clears throat> usually my pool days are a little more back focused, but I'm gonna switch it up for like a couple weeks, four weeks or so, and start putting a little more emphasis on the biceps, the bicep training. <clears throat> Just finishing off with some alternating dumbbell curls, and then we're pretty much done. Ah. All right, y'all. We just finished our pool workout. Switched it up a little bit. Kind of started hitting a little more biceps. My workouts are more back focused. However, starting to hit the biceps a little bit, get those muscles involved. Trying to get those peaks, you know, those 22-inch arms. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not CT Fletcher, but uh, I wanted to close off this video, and I want to talk to you guys about how your environment shapes who you are. A lot of us can get caught up in our hype and we think that we're more disciplined than we actually are. We may think that we have more self-control than we actually do. And so sometimes we allow things in our environment that subconsciously really influence us to make bad decisions. For example, having bad foods and bad liquids in your fridge or in your pantry will make you more likely to eat unhealthy. If you hang around a bunch of negative people who are always talking about how they hate their jobs or always talking negatively about their coworkers or this or that, you're more likely to join in on that conversation. You're more likely to take on that negative mindset. And so with everything in life, you are what you surround yourself with, right? And a lot of people, wonder, well, how can I change that? What if I'm afraid to meet new people? I'm afraid to go out and make new friends, start conversations with random strangers. And listen, we live in a world where you have the internet, you have YouTube at your disposal. You can pick anyone in the world to be your circle of influence. You know, back in the days, you could have never gone on YouTube and typed in Cristiano Ronaldo workouts or interview and, and see the way he carries himself, see the way he talks, see the way he eats, see the way he trains. You know, I wish I could have grown up seeing that. I wish I could have typed in Michael Jordan's workouts or Kobe Bryant's workouts when I was like 12 years old, 10 years old, or interviews and, and been able to see whenever I wanted, to be able to go back whenever I wanted to look them up, see how they thought, see how they handle things, you know, growing up. And you guys live in a day and age where you can do that. You can literally, anything that you want to be in your life, there's a YouTube video about it. You can go on YouTube type in that person's name and there's more than likely a documentary, there's an interview, there's a podcast, there's something showing you how they live their life. So whatever you want to do with your life, whoever you want to be, first and foremost, you need to get clear on that. And once you get clear on that, find role models that live that, who are the epitome of who you want to be and just do hours and hours of research on 
that person on their lifestyle, their eating habits, their training habits, their mindset, the businesses they're involved with, the way they carry themselves, how they treat their spouse, how they treat their kids, the type of lifestyle that they live, you know, all of these different things that you admire about that person become that. I say it over and over, acquire what you admire. Whatever it is in your life that you wish you would have had growing up, become that. Become that for the next generation because time is going to pass, you are going to get old, and there's going to be a new generation of kids coming up that are going to be young adults and are going to shape the future of the world. That's just how I think. I'm a long-term thinker. I'm a 20-year, 50-year thinker. I'm doing this right now so that 20 years, 50 years from now, my son can go back and look at what his dad looked like when he was 28. You know, I wish I could go on YouTube and type in videos of my dad and see what he was doing, see how he was working, see what his life looked like. I wish I could see that. Sadly, there was no YouTube back then, but now there is. And so that's why I want to make these videos. So my son, long after I'm gone, my grandkids, my, my great grandkids, they can always go on the Internet and, and find videos of their grandpa, you know, of their dad, of their great grandpa, you know. So whatever it is that you want to be, find the role model and model what they do. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.